We've all been given an assignment. Every single one of us. We've all been designed to occupy a place in the body. You'd think that we would embrace it, but oddly we've replaced it with folly. So on the day we depart, we'll explain to a God who would hang on a cross. We were ashamed to exalt you in the face of the false. So at night we're awake, in the day we're exhausted. We've strayed from the promise relayed through his prophets while Satan is scoffing, orchestrating and plotting the sin in this world. The ladies that often are stripped from their homes and exchanged for a prophet. The millions of Christians that are placed in a coffin by thousands of Muslims obeying Muhammad, the babies, no fathers. The slain and the fallen, the blood on our hands, the stain on our conscience. It was your name that he called in Isaiah when God said, Whom shall I send your hand raised? Then you thought regret. Every name that I've lost, fear, has placed me in bondage. Sin is engraved in my posture, confusion in my brain. It won't stop in doubt. Are you sure it's my name that you called? See, you can become everything that our Father has called you to be. In spite of yourself, the way that you feel and the flaws that you see. Your past is a mess and the scars you receive make it hard to believe. But the pain of your past will now serve as a win that we all can achieve. See, Jesus was hung and he bled and he died that we all could be free. But the things of this world try to strangle you and make it harder to breathe. But the people in bondage are waiting on you to acknowledge their need. And if Christ doesn't meet you halfway, then what kind of God would he be? So we fight for the truth and disciple the youth who are biting the fruit. We rebuild the image of Christ in the church, the bride and the groom. And now we must go as darkness approaches, we're losing the sun. There's a world that will know him, but now we're just waiting on you to become.